Okay, what's up guys? It's time for the next episode, which for me is immediately after the previous one. No rest for the weary. Let's go. Our first gym stadium. And this is the opening ceremony for the event. We're gonna see all the gym leaders I hear. That music for a second. It sounds like the gym song from previous games, but... Ah, oh, that's so nostalgic. Oh, I love the gym song. Let's get signed up. Oh, it's Bead. I don't know how you pronounce that name. What a piece of work. We're both endorsed by the champion. That must be impressive. You don't see a lot of those. Two at once! <laughs> Leon. The next champion. Oh, uh, we'll see about that. Don't be rude to the man. Hop. Don't rush him. Gym challengers. Okay, let's choose our, our deck number. Uh, our challenger number. Um. Hmm, what's my luckiest number? 137. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna go with 927, but I think 137 is better. Hmm. Or should I go with something else? No, 137. One, That's a good number. Okay. But do drop in. I was endorsed by the chairman himself. Oh! Rivalry endorsement. Chairman is as big a celebrity as... as Leon. He's, he's like literally the president or whatever. Wow. Wow, what... what a piece of work. I'm not gonna curse, but... Son of a... You know, I love how there's people of all ages here. They're not all young. I like that. Oh, isn't that Marnie? She's nice. I like her. Unlike this piece of work right here, like you. Anyway. Having a bad mouth rival is actually a good thing. I still remember the first time that Blue called me a... What was it again? I don't know. Just smell you later is bad enough. You know, and Silver, wow, he was a bully. But those are those are fun. I like both types of rivals, by the way. Not just the the the, the mean ones, you know. I like, I like to mix and match them. Oh, we get an escort. Isn't that... Fancy. Okay, so this is the end. So this is the do drop in. Fancy. Okay, we're registered. Let's see. 
Is this statue related to the legendary Pokemon? I wouldn't be surprised. It's a statue of the hero who once saved the Gala region. Give me all the details. Yeah, yeah, give me all the details. Long ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. People called it the darkest day. The land was assaulted by gigantic Pokemon, but they were defeated by a single young hero, bearing a sword and shield. The statue here is meant to depict the young hero of that legend. We still don't understand what kind of sword and shield the hero actually had. And what this black storm is supposed to be is just another mystery. Whatever it was, it blotted out the skies all across Galar. I suppose that tracks with it being called the Darkest Day, but still. I suppose the hero must have been about as young as Lee then. Looks like you, you're you gonna have your hands full with plenty to research. Yeah. Black storms and swords and shields and all. You'll be alright, Sonya. Thanks. <laughs> Not to worry. Let's check in. That was a nice legend, by the way. Okay, what's with these guys? I'm up for that. It's not nice bothering people just going about their business. Troublemakers. Yell's symbol it looks the same as the dark type gym. Or am I imagining it? Level 9? Oh, don't make me laugh. These guys were clearly inspired by the fanatical Pokemon fans who kept bothering Game Freak. You know, like, you have too much time on your hands. Get a life. It's just a game after all. Oh yeah, you pathetic, alright. Level 9, Zigzagoon. Don't tell me they're gonna gang up on me, that's so... ...petty. Is it even legal to battle in a hotel lobby? They must really like Marnie, but you know, so do I. But not like them. Oh, I nick it. That brings back memories back to Route... What was it? Route 2? Still, no challenge, mate. Ooh, cheeky little thing. Quick attacking. At least she apologized. <laughs> Swanky. <laughs> that was not necessary, I'll tell you right right now. That quick attack did nothing. Two on two. Why not? No big deal. <laughs> These people can't take a hint. They cannot take a hint. Same Pokemon as before. Oh, hey, Wooloo. Let's see if Swift can beat them both. Nice. 
We're a bit over leveled, but I'm not disappointed. Oh well, we'll get we'll get challenged later. What are you lot doing here? It's Marty! The only one who isn't wearing her uniform yet. I, I guess Bede wasn't either. Marnie's precious and we will protect her. Unlike Bede. I wonder who endorsed her, though. Shirty. It is impressive, though. It, they're annoying, but she's impressive that they love her so much. Okay. Hooligans. Okay, morning. He's lost his Mancino! I gotta find it. Okay, so I couldn't find Mancino. I went around the whole city twice. But I did change my outfit to match the other challengers. This is the challenger kit, including sunglasses. Um, Kind of look like these guys. But yeah, I looked everywhere. I looked near water. I tried whistling. I couldn't hear it. I couldn't find it. I'll find it another time. This is what I get for trying to do side quests. Oh well. Nice! 137! Fire red. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here and everyone watching from home have all been waiting for this big moment. It is my pleasure to announce that finally the Gala Region Gym Challenge will now begin. Yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants must defeat the eight gym leaders and gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honor of challenging the greatest champion in history. Now I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. Okay. Let's do this.
Milo. Nessa. Kabu. B. Opal. Gordy. Or is it Jordy? Rayhan, get off your phone. Oh, selfie's fine. We're missing one? Must be the dark one. I look good in shades. Let's hear it for the trainers. Oh, that's it? Oh, no battling. Yeah, we both already possess Dynamax bands. What of it? Vision stars. Oh boy. He's a bit chubby, isn't he? Unlike, well, just like me. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a set order? Okay, my theory was wrong. I guess we are going to battle Milo first. The gym challenge... Challenges an event which aspiring trainers travel on the garbage and try to collect gym badges from eight of his gyms. To earn a gym badge, you have to complete that gym's mission and also defeat its gym leader. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna go to Turfield next. That seems pretty far. Like, it looks like we have to go to Thrift 3 and then up Route 4. The chairman asked me to deliver his gift to you. Oh, someone's got a crush on Rose. Flying taxis. That's cool. If you use the flying taxi service, one of their well-trained Corviknight will have you zipping across the region to your desired destination in no time at all. That's nice. Let's try out the flying taxi for the first time. Okay, so I've already been to um, some places in the wild area, like for example, Bridgefield. I, I've, I went all the way to Dusty Bowl, Giant's Mirror, and Giant's Cat by myself. I uh, was just exploring in between episodes, but I couldn't catch any of the Pokemon there, they were too strong. Looks like I can fly here to East Lake Axwell. Meetup spot. Oh, I can go all the way to Route 2. But also Wedgehurst and my Postwick. Mm -hmm. This is nice. And there's also this Motorstoke, but also... Like, there's two areas of Motorstoke, because there's two... Two Pokemon Centers! Let's see what it looks like. Oh, that was fast. Didn't see anything, wow. Okay, I think I'll end the episode there. Um, we couldn't really find that 
lost Pokemon, but um, we'll keep trying. And then we'll go on to new Pokemon. New areas, catching new Pokemon. So, yeah, I'm ending the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, share with a friend, check out my channel for more videos like this, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time.